Hey guys! So, welcome to our lesson planning video. That seemed really official. It should, it should seem very official. And if you hear my children in the background, it's because no one can be quiet in my house. It's because I'm a mother of three, and it's impossible to have a quiet house unless everyone's asleep. Okay, so this is our week. I'm showing you what we're gonna be doing this week. Also, I'm gonna be telling you what we're gonna be filming this week so you know what to expect for the rest of the week. So, we're gonna start off with Monday. We're gonna do it day by day. So Monday is our book day, and we go through all of our curriculum, and, and, most, and almost all of these curriculums I do every single day. Every day we go through reading, writing, and arithmetic, basically. So one of the things we like to go through here, and I'm gonna be linking all of the curriculums that I have and all the books and everything that I'm showing down below so that you can purchase them if you want. I also love to use library resources. That's a huge win for me. I obviously do not purchase like 15 books for our um, unit studies every time we do a unit every week because we get a lot of books from the library. So it's definitely worth getting a library card. And I actually have to pay for a library card because my city does not have a good enough library for me to homeschool out of it. That's impossible. So we actually do pay for a library card in another area. But this is one of the things Malia does. So this is Winston Grammar. I absolutely love this. And if you guys are interested in any reviews on these, Comment below, I'll do a review. I'll tell you all of the ins and outs of my tricks and whether I like it or kind of like it. There are curriculums I use that I kind of like, but this one I really like. I actually, this is my book from when I was a kid. My mom, this was the only surviving thing that she had, so I stole from her. So we do one of these lessons and this is grammar. And so it goes through just like nouns, verbs, helping verbs, all those kinds of things. I love it. She does a lesson on Monday and she does two practice sentences in her workbook every single day of the week. Okay. Then we also do vocabulary workshop for our vocab. And so our vocabulary workshop is pretty simple and very self-guided. Malia can do this all by herself. I just put it down and say a mark on her book where she is and she can do it every day. So the first day she reads a story that has all of her vocabulary words and then there's a worksheet for each one. I really like this one. It's good. It builds a vocabulary and also I love when something is something I can just put on the table in the morning and say, get this done when you're done eating breakfast. So this is a win for me. We also do all about spelling. So our all about spelling, the way that I structure it, and everybody structures all about spelling differently and if you do it differently, that's great if you're already using this. But what I do is we do our lesson on Monday and then she practices every day on her own in her workbook. And then she likes to have a little quiz at the end of the week so that she feels like she accomplished it. And one of my tricks, and I'm gonna do a full in-depth video on this, you don't need to ask because this is on my list of things to do a, a video on. Um, is this is how we do our magnet tiles that this the program comes with and we do we store them here and we use them on this one and it's really nice because it makes it so i don't have to be near a, a whiteboard or anything like that it can go with us when we want to do school somewhere else so we do this and she practices her spelling words every day of the week now hiram is a little bit younger so we don't have as many curriculums going on with him but we do have sax mf k I recommend starting this, and you can even start it at a preschool age. Hiram technically starts kindergarten next year, but we are doing this one with him this year because I really think it's it's very well built for a preschooler. It's very hands-on, very based on manipulatives. There is almost no writing at all in this, and I love this program, Sex and Math. I'm going to do an in-depth video on each level, so stay tuned for that. This is level K, and it's the level that Hiram's on. This takes me like 10 minutes a day. A lot of girls say, I can't teach math, that's too hard. This math program does it for me. All I do is read it to him. And Malia's extremely good at math. That's not my strong suit, but Malia's very good at it. And I always tell mom, listen, if I can teach math, anyone can teach math. So this is what we do for math with Hiram. And that's every single day. Malia also has one that's every single day. She's also in Saxon math. And there's lots of different kinds of math programs out there. And I think each program works differently for each kid. And I would like to do a review on all of the programs. I won't be testing them on the kids, but I will be pulling moms in who use them so that you guys can get a really good understanding and a really good opinion on it. Because I don't want to give an opinion on something I haven't actually used in, in my own homeschool environment, but I will pull moms in who have used other things to give opinions on things. Like this is Saxon Math 5.4. One of my tips for Saxon Math is that like this one comes with a workbook with all the worksheets. Now I will let them write on this one because this worksheet book is like $20. So 
I can buy that again. But these are a little bit more expensive. And so what I do if there's problems, they have like work in here that they do. I have them write it on a 10 cent notebook because I'd like to reuse this for each of my kids. So Malia does this every day. We do five lessons a week in math for each kid. And then Hiram does this for writing, and I love this, and this will be linked below. It's a dry erase board, but it has lasted two kids, and it's in such good shape. It's a leapfrog one, and I will have it linked because I love this, and I swear by this. It's great for beginning handwriting. You use an Expo marker, so if they make a mistake, it's just that easy, especially if you have a kid who has a really hard time with making mistakes, which Malia had a really hard time with that at this age. And so I love this. This is one of my go-tos for kindergarten age kids. Okay, so that's kind of our Monday. We just get all of our lessons started, and that's what we do. Then on Tuesday, we are going to be doing a literature thing, and we are going to be doing Beatrix Potter's Peter Rabbit, and I love having sets. Like, isn't that so pretty? I love having sets. So we are going to be doing Peter Rabbit. For, so our, our letter of the week is B, and I actually love making little hand puppets. I'm kind of bummed my hand puppet is not a bunny. It's a bear. But I might make a bunny one, so that might be on. But so we like to have a little puppet that introduces the letter and tells them what it says and that kind of stuff. And then we're gonna read this book, Peter Rabbit, and we are gonna be making a we're gonna be tracing a bee with cotton balls and, and gluing them on for our letter activity. And we're going to be playing bunny color bounce, which is gonna be very simple. I'm gonna be listing all the materials you need below to to join us on our literature day, which is going to be Tuesday. Also, we're gonna be doing a carrot counting craft, which I'm really excited about, but I will list all the materials you guys need. And next week, I'm hoping to have the crafts ready so I can show you an example, but that'll be next week. I'm not perfect. <laughs> so that's our literature week. And also, we like to tie Malia's literature and her books into our history study. So history-wise and geography-wise, we're going to be in Asia, the continent of Asia, for the next six weeks. And so she has picked out a lot of Magic Treehouse books, Day of the Dragon King, A Perfect Time for Pandas, A Crazy Day with Cobras. She also picked out, and I couldn't find, Night of the Ninjas, also Magic Treehouse, and Who Was Genghis Khan. I love the Who Was series. It's all about you know, characters from history, and I love Magic Treehouse because they pull a lot of good history and science and stuff into them, and they're easy reads, especially for kids who struggle, so I would, I will link these below because these are great. And so then Wednesday's rolling around, and on Wednesday we're going to be doing Science Day, which we're also linking into our history and our geography unit study, so we are going to be studying earthquakes because... I mean, there's a lot of earthquakes on that Pacific Rim right there in Asia, and so I thought that would be a really great thing to kind of pull into our unit study. So we are gonna be making houses out of little toothpicks and marshmallows and putting them on a jello plate and shaking them and seeing if your house can withstand an earthquake. We are also going to be making kind of like this earthquake machine Tyler and I are gonna be doing, and then the kids are gonna be making like Lego towers and towers out of cardboard. And so that's going to be really fun. I will list below things that you need to make the same things that we're going to do. And you can come along with us or you can just watch us and learn from that. And then Thursday, I'm actually going to do a review of a curriculum. And stay tuned for that. I haven't chosen which one I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to do a review on a curriculum on Thursday. And then Friday's video is going to be our culture video. And we are going to be studying the continent of Asia. And so we are, have a lot of really fun things planned for the next six weeks. But this is our beginning week. So we're kind of learning about the geography and all of those kinds of things. So one of our activities we're going to have is we're obviously going to be studying the globe. I love this globe. I'll link it below. It's a smart globe and it has like a smart pen and it tells you all these things. I love this product. So we are going to be studying the globe and we're going to be coloring and naming all of our countries on this worksheet, which will be listed below so you can have this ready as well. And we're going to be going over the flags for all of our countries and making a few of them. There are 20 Third, no, there are 30 countries, so that's a lot of flags. I don't know if we'll get through that, but we'll try. And then we obviously have a lot of books. I have about 15 books from all the different countries because we're kind of going over all the countries that exist in Asia this week. That's kind of my goal. I have some videos of the daily life of Thailand, Russia, and China, and a little book on pandas because you can't do Asia without a little thing on pandas. And so that's kind of our goal for... Our culture week this week is kind of just a general broad thing on the on our culture day, but we are going to be introducing the continent of Asia. I'm so glad that you guys are going to be able to come along with us this 
this week and watch us or homeschool with us or think I'm weird or make fun of me anyway is fine with me. <laughs> but that's kind of our week. And hopefully it goes smoothly because sometimes I have grand plans and they don't always work out. And that's okay. So you have to roll with the punches with homeschooling. You could do all of this and a kid gets a stomach flu and that's it. Like, you have to roll with the punches, but this is my plan. <laughs> I hope you guys come along with us. It's going to be really fun and I'm really excited about it. So if you have any questions, comment below. And also, I'm going to have all the links for everything you need prepped, everything you would need on your end of things to go along with us if you would like to come along with us this week. Or you can prep for next week and you can be just like a week behind or however you want to do it. But I am going to list everything you need. And I am so excited to start this week.